Cooks. It's been such a long time. I miss sitting in front of a camera to do my own thing and I miss you guys But I'm back for some time. Yes, we were on an Easter break and I decided to do a few videos that I missed Yes, I had a long list of videos I was supposed to do so I decided to take them one at a time Do it tick do it tick do it tick. Yes, so yes but before I start today's video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly go and subscribe. There is so much in store, amazing giveaways, and I'm just not yet started. Like, just kindly go and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Liza Cooks. Yes, let's get straight into today's so video. So as you all can see, today, girl is looking all pimped up. <laughs> all African and all Ghanaian, yes. I decided to have a Ghana tag today. So the first question I have is, where were you born? I was actually born in Ghana. Yes, yes. I was actually born in Ghana. I was born in Accra, Kolebu Teaching Hospital. I hope I'm not wrong, but yes, I was born in Kolebu Teaching Hospital. So the second question says, what is your full Ghanaian name? A lot of people have been asking for this, but yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to... My full Ghanaian name is Elizabeth Kukua Dansu. Kukua is um a wednesday born so it's a queer but kukua is fancy yes so kukua is fancy so elizabeth kukua so I, was named, I was named after my grandmother my dad's mom but that name see me in chambers if you want to not see me in chambers <laughs> and yeah yes. the next question says um uh, which part of ghana are you from well my mom my mom is from the central region my mom is from Ejumako in Tumbil, which is in the central region. And my dad is from Ekriapem Ekopong in the eastern region. Yes. And I think, if I'm not wrong, we take the mother's side, so I'm funny. But I'm always saying I'm from Ekriapem Ekopong. Sorry for that, but yeah. Proud of both of them, though. Proud of, yeah. It could have been a couple and then a drama point of but I can't speak fancy, I can speak tree. Yeah, fancy. Mm. I can't speak fancy. My mom doesn't really speak fancy though because she's been married to my dad for such a long time. But I don't know, she doesn't speak fancy at all. Is my dad who my dad does not my dad also speaks a crap, but not that much. Missy, you that's that's what they know. You, you me a crap for you, and um, oh yeah, I know this one, yang a crap for. I didn't know no ma I been quite well. I hope I got it right. If you agree, comment comment um, and then the next yeah. question says what do you love or hate about Ghana? Oh my god, I love so many things about Ghana. The first thing I love about Ghana is how peaceful it is. Ghana is such a peace loving country. If you're not Ghanaian, I'll urge you to visit Ghana. And the just love the atmosphere in Ghana. It's just really it's natural. The, the second thing is the na the nature, like the way Ghana is. There's just something about it. Like when I get back home and everything, when I travel like over to the mountains and stuff, how how natural, yeah, it is. I love I love that bit about Ghana. Very hospitable don't but don't take advantage of their hospitality because that is very bad as well obviously if it's any country if you take advantage of someone's hospitality it gets 
overboard but Ghanaians are so hospitable that's one thing i love about ghana yes i think that's basically it um what do i hate i don't really like doom so I, I went to ghana in 2016 there was not much doom so but before i left ghana there was doom so doom so is literally like on and off do so on and off so yeah we have like this power is it shortage or outage or we and they there's a more like a roaster they turn it on for some time for some people and then off for some time for some people just to get energy and all of that so yeah that is one thing i don't like i pray the government works on it the other thing is um the lack of job opportunities here yeah, so a lot of people certain people are unemployed and all of that i just love the fact that people are self-employed now people are trying to employ each uh, um themselves people are trying to do something with their lives and everything so yeah that is what i don't really like about ghana and i pray to work on it in terms of the employment and the doing so um and the bad roads oh my god bad roads they are killing so many people roads oh my god oh there's so many accidents and everything i pray to work on the roads as well those are the things i don't really like about ghana it causes traffic and all of that um what would you like to see change in ghana obviously the things i've mentioned we will do our part like obviously if you come to the uk if you go to the us anywhere you are as a student i urge you to finish your course if you want to work here for some time just do it but just try as much as possible to go and get back to your country yeah so as i have paid out and everything no matter what it is that i'm doing here i'm doing electronic engineering and everything but i try as much as possible to go back if it's just like 50 pounds or 60 pounds or something just just get close do something yeah give back so all these kids on the streets and everything obviously those are things i would love to see change but we can make the change ourselves i can't do it alone the government can't do it alone so we all need to hold each other's hands um, and to do yes it. ghana or nigerian jollof are you kidding me like or oh, all this hint nigerian jollof of course not well i've never tasted nigerian jollof so i can't say ill or ill or no or that but no 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 because i've only tasted ghana jollof and i love ghana jollof i'm sure even if i ch even if i tasted nigerian jollof i'll still choose ghana jollof but i've never tasted nigerian jollof and so i'll definitely go for ghana jollof no haze here yeah, just ghana jollof yeah the other one says um what is your favorite Ghanaian dish? Banku and tilapia. Gee, I miss tilapia. Oh, 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 my heart. I miss tilapia. <laughs> banku. I miss banku and tilapia. I miss banku and tilapia. I've gotten a bit of banku and okra stew to eat from home. Yeah, I actually have eaten banku and okra stew, but banku and tilapia with shito and Oh, be quiet, she. Ah, I can't say that one in English. If you don't know it in English, I'll write it down there. Be quiet, she. Like, you know, grinded pepe. Ah, jeez, it is. I miss it, yes. And I miss watching. I've been making watching and everything, but there's this hajia in Medina before the, 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 the market, the market junction. Yeah, Medina. Oh my god. I just watch it like literally if i arrive in ghana like on saturday on tuesday wednesday or thursday i'm going to hajia like i'm going to vlog it like i'm going to hajia i miss hajia's watch it so i miss watch it and i miss i definitely miss banku and tilapia with with, with pepper so what is my favorite ghanian music so this brings me to the topic I've always wanted to discuss. I've always wanted to speak about how people are all about, yeah, there's gospel, there's worldly music and all of that. I love, my taste in music cuts across. I love gospel music. When you check on my phone, you realize that 90% of my music is um, gospel music. But, but, but I love, I love certain types of music that are obviously not gospel music. So you, it brings me to the topic I've, I said I've, I've always wanted to discuss. That is... You know, there are certain people who actually sing gospel, but they are, they are actually in the world. And there are people who actually sing worldly music, but they are actually Christians. They are actually even spreading the gospel in quotes, yeah? They advise people. Their songs are even an encouragement to people, more than people who actually sing gospel music. So, 
I'm more about the lyrics. I love beats as well, but I'm more about the lyrics and my connection with the song. Obviously, if the song has swear words and certain things, I stopped listening to such music a long time ago. But I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite and say, oh no, it's all about gospel for me. I love gospel. Hands down, you see me every time listening to gospel. But there are times when if a good, a good, like good music comes on, you see me dancing. I'm not going to lie to you about it. You see me dancing. So yes. My favorite Ghana music. Um, I don't know hey. what When you have a best son, none of you miss the son. Yes, on your mea, oh, you are when you be your own soul. No, yeah. Oh no no kasa mazini na yeti Build your own soul, no yeah Hurry, hurry, come carry your baby go Come and see my mother, my mother You must see my mother, my mother. Come and see my mother, hey. You must see my mother. my mother If you want my body then come see my mommy. I know what's your money, but I know you want my body. My body. My body. Hale, hale, body. Come see my mommy. Make it official. All the way to Ghana. Come carry your baby. Go. Hey, girl. Girl, mm. anyway, you there, I go there, there. My sherry, coco, my one and only. If you cry, you want, I go hustle. Low. Baby, take my hands, baby, carry go. If you think I'm gonna leave you, God forbid you. If you leave me there, that be this year. This I can't resist, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go mention your name to the whole wide world. If you were to give me joy. This one says, What is my favorite Ghanaian movie? I love this movie, Divine Love. It had Jackie Appiah, it had Van Vika, it had Majid Michelle in it. I love that movie. I was young when they acted that movie, but. I grew up and I was still looking for that movie to watch and everything. I love that movie. I also love um, Mommy's Daughter. It's by Nadia Bwari. It's with Nadia Bwari, sorry. Um, Kalsum Sinari and Jack Appiah as well. And Von Vicker. And then I love um, Yvonne Okoro and Yvonne Nelson in Best Friends. Best Friends. The, the title of the movie is called best friends or something yeah that's that's the movie so yes that is what i love i love those guys this one movies. says my favorite um, Ghanaian series i love champagne hands down shelly frick bowman so kudos to you jocelyn dumas um blossom i love champagne i there was <laughs> there was nothing i hated about that series it was still so much suspense and everything i love champagne um if i don't know if this is considered as a series or not but Yay! Guy had fun. Kejetia versus Makola. Yeah. Yeah, that is it. I love Kejetia versus Makola. Notification gang and pads. Like every Sunday evening, I get notified and everything. Kejetia versus Makola. Thumbs up. Jad Louise Lamiz to. Hey! My favorite. My favorite. Lawyer in T. Katiche Bombay Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that man. <laughs> I love Kenita versus Makola. I'm just a, a diehard fan of Kenita versus Makola. Yeah. So those are my favorites. Favorite Ghanaian artist. Um, so I would probably say 
Dr. Sonny Badu, Ohima Mercy, Obapo Christie, <laughs> um, Joe Metal. I also like um, Kitty, like the music he's doing now. I like uh, Kwame Eugene, Ms. V. I, 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 I used to listen to FES music a lot. It cuts across, yeah. I'm just a Ghanaian girl. Like, I don't even remember the last day I sat down to listen to Promise. Like, I'm not joking. If you probably come and ask me what's Beyonce, Rihanna, all, all these people, if you ask me what is their latest songs, you'll be disappointed, yeah? Because I don't really listen to those music. Like, I used to. I stopped a long time ago, yeah? I stopped way back gone are the days when I used to listen to all those music. I stopped it way before I got to the UK. I'm more of Ghanaian. I listen to a lot of Ghanaian music now. Yeah. And then this one says, um, favorite Ghanaian actor or actress. I've been a fan of Jekipia for such a long time. A long, long time. So I love Jekipia. I love Yvonne Okoro. Yvonne Okoro is very good as well. Uh, Yvonne Nelson. One of the realest actresses I've also met is Nana Mama Brown. Um, Nana Mama Brown, I met her at Fiesta Royal Hotel. I hope I'm getting the name right. And I was coming out with Moses. We went for dinner and I was coming out and she met us. And she's like, ah, I'm dressed up nicely. Where am I going? Has the party ended? And I was like, she thought I was going, I was coming from where she was going to. And I was like, no, no, no. I came to lunch with my dad's friend and everything. She was like, oh, you look so nice. I was like, oh, thank you. And she left. It was when I sat in the taxi that I was like, flip. I actually didn't take a picture with Nana Mama Brown. Like, really? I love Nana Mama Brown. She's so real. I love everything about her. Yeah. Favorite actor I don't really have a lot. I'll probably say Majid Michelle. Um, I watch movies, obviously, with John Dumelo in it. I also watch movies where... um. Yeah, Prince David say Yeah, those are just a few of them that, yeah, I I kind of, I've been watching for such a long time and everything. This one says, my favorite old time, old, old, old time Ghanaian music. Yeah, yeah Baba. To be who my father I want to see you, my father. I want to see you, my father. Yeah, 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 she won't find you, she knows you. If it's a bottom, back up it out, I'll let you tell me. When Coco must see you, be good. The last question says, um, when are you go? What do you miss about Ghana and when are you going back home? I miss the fellowship with people in terms of um I miss church. Let me put it that way, but not particularly like I miss this church or I miss that church or anything, but I miss the fellowship, meeting up with people, praying together, um obviously like you know where one or two or three people are gathered here. Yeah? I just miss that fellowship that whole presence of god yeah in ghana in ghana i miss that part and then i miss my nephews obviously i miss my nephews so much so badly and i miss uh food i miss obviously banquet and tilapia i miss um watching going back home so i'll be finishing um 
I'll be finishing in May, June, but my graduation is not until around July and everything. So I don't know when I'm going back home and I don't even know if I'm going back home. Um, I might probably stay and do my masters. I might go back home and come back and do my masters, all of that. I'm just going to tell you guys. I'm just going to let you guys know. If I'm going back home, I'm going to vlog every single way. Like everything, I'm going to vlog my packing, everything. So just, just subscribe to the channel. That's the last thing I'm going to tell you. Please subscribe to my channel and that's it i hope you enjoyed 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 today's video i just wanted it to be something short fun and interesting and i hope you enjoyed it so please please subscribe to my channel so two more things i kind of had an issue with my instagram account yeah and so i mm, i had to start all over again so please go and follow me on instagram and I'll put the handle down. Please follow me on Instagram. I put up a lot of inspirational messages. So please follow me on Instagram. And then the last thing is I filmed a bit of stuff. Like my day-to-day -day activity. So like my journey to graduation. So if you'd like me to post that video, please comment down below. It's like a series. So please comment down below. It has everything. My day-to-day -day activities. I just watched a few of it. I actually left the camera somewhere and I was crying. All of that is on it. I had a lot of stress from January till like this much so i have almost everything filmed filmed on camera and everything so if you want it please comment in the comment section and i'm going to drop that video as well thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more videos i love you all bye